Camden, New Jersey, and across the Mid-Atlantic, a movement is underway to connect people to clean, accessible waterways. At Lyman Morris, the vessel that makes this possible and coming to life is Firefly. The principal mission of Firefly is going to be a school boat for underserved children in Philadelphia and Camden, New Jersey. But it's also going to be a flagship for clean water and coastal resilience and public access across the entire East Coast. We couldn't be more excited for the partnership with Lyman Morris. Together, we're building a state-of-the-art boat. And so what we've got is a solar electric boat, a floating classroom, and one that's super efficient, uh, and we think is really going to be a model for carbon neutral boating across the country. I have the pleasure of coordinating the collaboration between Upstream Alliance and the Naval Architect, uh, Dave Gare. They work closely with our team, our in-house design team, and our project manager group to provide a boat that meets all the goals of the project. There's a lot of communication around every detail to make sure that we make it exactly what the customer needs. We have our systems design and installation team, which will be putting in all the parts to drive the boat. And then our electrical systems and design team will be putting in all of the control systems for the batteries and the solar panels. There's a lot of reasons Firefly is rather unique. One is the fact that she is a catamaran. There are not a lot of catamaran tour boats out there. There are some. Uh, but the most important thing is that she's solar electric. That is really unique. The idea is to have the lowest carbon footprint we possibly can to do her mission. And hopefully any future boat's mission, the more we can expand this technology into other types of boats, the better. A large canopy affords us the opportunity to put 24 solar panels on the roof. That electricity powers this vessel. However, if we want additional power or if there are low light conditions, we've got 48 batteries that will capture that power and store it. And those batteries will return it whenever we need it. So we can go as fast as 11 miles an hour or we could run through the night. So we have the storage to be able to accomplish that. What's really great about this boat and this power is that we'll be able to go 70 miles at seven miles per hour. So we've got an extensive range for an electric vessel. Batteries are the energy storage for the boat, uh, basically the fuel tanks for the boat. We want as much fuel, as much energy storage as we can get. So lithium ion batteries give us the most fuel storage for a given volume and weight of batteries by a substantial margin. Lithium ion batteries come in a large variety of different chemistries. Some are very volatile and dangerous and some are exceptionally stable. And the ones we specified for Firefly, which are lithium iron phosphate batteries, they are so stable that we're unable in all the testing we've done and the American Boat and Yacht Council has done to make them burn at all. And we are working with the US Coast Guard to try and get them to accept what we think is a good, reliable, and practical fire suppression system. Water is our core focus. It is our area of expertise. And for the American Water Charitable Foundation to have an opportunity to partner with Upstream Alliance and provide education about water in the environment is an opportunity for us to make an incredible difference in the city of Camden, New Jersey. It's all about hands-on. It's one thing when you learn something in a classroom and you have the book and you have worksheets or you might just go outside for a little bit, but it's another thing when you're actually here and you're walking on the sand and you see that we have a beach during low tides and then to see them experience the water and smile and laugh, that to me is why I do what I do. 